What inspires me to teach are my kids, my scholars. I mean, any hint of them wanting to learn is enough fuel for me to even start off a lesson. And if you know your scholars, you'll know what their likes are, where their dislikes are. If you, you know, give them a hug, that's enough. A high five does so much for kids. And by me knowing what they like, it, it allows them to be comfortable enough and believe that, you know, I can do this. Just the energy that she puts forward when she's instructing her students, the level of engagement, and the data speaks for itself. Her students are learning. She had different ways for different things. When we're multiplying, she has rolling numbers that can help us. 12, 24, 36, 48. 12, my 12, you know that it's great. People on average, we do not enjoy math. Multiplication was just rigor. Then I was saying, okay, why not put some beat to it? And I was like, okay, this can work. So we got the kids involved, and they told us about different beats, and they told us about different rhythms, and we try to tap into that. And if I develop that confidence just by doing my multiple times tables, why can't I not do that and develop the same confidence in something else? And, and they, they, they shine. We don't come to math class for nothing. She always wants us to be, she always lets us know that we are exemplary students and not mediocre. Teacher, mentor, team player, she's been all those things. She's taken the friendship values and she's modeled them completely. And it's contagious. And I just love working with her. Once I get my students believing that they can and they must learn, they'll be academically and socially unstoppable. One, two. Very good.